Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 43, Destroyer by Chris Fox. This book was a ton of fun, and I can't wait for more. It's military science fiction, but it's easily the most entertaining military sci-fi novel I've ever read. I haven't read much because I find they're usually boring books. This story just moved, and it was very fun and engaging. There were no scenes where characters were just sitting around talking and pondering philosophical or political things like I've read in other military science fiction. There were no abstruse, complicated sentences about the technology. No expounding on what this future science could realistically be like, and I appreciated that. Everything was described well, so I understood how the science worked. But the story wasn't about the science. It was about the adventures and conflicts, which in my opinion makes for a much more enjoyable read. Instead, I got a ton of awesome action scenes. I got a behind-closed-doors meeting scene where terrible secrets were discovered by eavesdropping good guys. I got some really cool science fiction-style Indiana Jones scenes where characters flew to planets and explored ancient ruins to try and uncover some terrifying mysteries about an alien race. One thing that makes a book a favorite to me is when I don't get bored reading it, and that was the case with this book. It was fantastic. Even though it had great world-building, interesting technologies, and super cool alien races I loved— I don't remember ever getting assaulted by a huge info dump to tell me all about it. As you get to see these alien races and human characters go through all kinds of trials, you discover more about them and the technology around them. I particularly liked the Tigris. They are a cat-like alien race that reminded me of the Kilrathi from one of my favorite old space fighting games, Wing Commander. I loved how the movement of their tails was often used to show their mood. These aliens are cunning and intelligent, but they are also vicious, brutal fighters with an amazing amount of strength. Their sharp claws and teeth were scary. I loved how human characters thought that they looked creepy when they smiled. They came across as terrifying warriors, which was cool. It also made for a fun juxtaposition when these Tigris characters were happy and would sometimes purr. I love that and thought it was awesome. There are two other alien races. They were really great too, but I'm not explaining them because I don't want to spoil anything in the story. I also liked how the Helios gates worked for long-distance space travel. They were a cool idea that were well executed. I loved how all of the characters were ones that I've never met before, but they had a lot of interesting backstory. Just enough was given for me to know their motivations and appreciate them as well-rounded, fleshed-out characters with a history. I would say the story focuses more on plot than character, but the author did a great job creating living, breathing characters that I enjoyed going on adventures with. I'm excited to learn more about them by reading the prequel, Exiled. I would say that this novel was like Wing Commander meets Indiana Jones. It was a whole heck of a lot of fun, and you should go buy it right now so you can get to reading it. I know I'm glad I picked this one up, and as soon as I'm done writing this review, I'm going to go read the prequel. I can't wait for the sequel to come out. (laughs) Awesome. I do remember reading the prequel, which is called Exiled, the same day I wrote this review, like right afterwards, and I really liked it as well. So, I have some great news for you, the listener of this podcast, Dan Dan the Artman's Book Reviews. 
you can get a free audiobook just for trying out Audible's service. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial at Audible. This week, of course, I am going to recommend Destroyer, the Void Wraith Trilogy, Book 1, written by Chris Fox, narrated by Ryan Kennard Burke. And it's uh, 7 hours and 34 minutes long. It's like just a nice, perfect novel-length work that really moves. I only listened to the sample because I read this book uh, by reading the Kindle book. But after listening to the sample, I think that Ryan's voice totally fits just kind of the tone and mood of this book, which was really cool to me. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'll download it eventually, like maybe when the second book comes out uh, after Destroyer. Maybe I'll get this and listen to it just to uh, freshen up the story in my mind before I delve into the sequel. So if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free copy of Destroyer by Chris Fox, narrated by Ryan Kennard Burke. And you can actually download any audiobook of your choice, but uh, this week I highly recommend Destroyer. It was amazing. Really fun science fiction. Now, let's get back to that review. Okay, so I came to know about this book by listening to a... Uh, it's a podcast called The Author's Story Podcast. And I had never heard of Chris Fox before, but I just uh, picked an episode because I'd never listened to the podcast before either and checked it out and Chris Fox sounded like a really cool guy and his books sounded really cool but what got me the most interested is that I am an author myself and Chris Fox did something called the 21 day novel writing challenge or something like that where not only did he write and get edited and publish a novel in 21 days he documented all of it and put videos up on YouTube so it was so cool as an author myself to get like a really awesome behind the scenes peek at Chris Fox diligently plugging away every day writing this novel. And he also has some really great nonfiction books. One is called 5,000 Words Per Hour, Write Faster, Write Smarter. I found that book really helpful. And the first time I used his methods, I wrote like 380 words in five minutes. It was amazing, it blew me away. So I highly recommend that book for writers as well. And anyway, of course I was following Chris writing this novel. I couldn't wait to actually read the thing. And I was pretty confident that it would be good because it just seemed like he was really happy with what he had produced in that 21 day challenge. And I was very satisfied with um, the story myself. Like I said, I'm not really a big science, f military science fiction guy, probably just because I read some Heinlein and instead of getting some cool sci-fi action, I just got like a bunch of political theory and stuff. <laughs> I know a lot of people love his books, but uh, I'm just not a fan, to be honest. It's just boring to me. I want action and adventure and Destroyer delivers on that front so well. There's also like a really cool um, mystery that is unfolding that has insane consequences for like every race in the entire galaxy. So the conflict in this book is outstanding. And uh, Chris just did a great job of like building it up and then I guess one thing I would say is uh, there were a ton of parts of this book where it really felt like there was no way the good guys were going to get out of their situation alive. And I'm not saying that all of them do. I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, the action scenes were amazing. Just the buildup and the interaction between the humans and the aliens and the completely different kind of social structures that these different aliens work under, like the Tigris. If you are going to mess with a tigress, you're literally probably just going to get your head ripped off. It's 
kind of like, think of Chewbacca. He might rip your arms off. A tigress might just rip your head off. So it was so cool to see aliens like that and see how the humans interacted with them. And um, by the end, the conflict was just so great that it really seemed like there was no way that these characters were going to get out of this alive. And even if they did, it still seemed like they would still end up being in a really bad place. I'm trying not to spoil anything, but yeah, that's all I'll say because there's a lot of intrigue, I guess is the word I would use, in the story of Destroyer. So I was blown away by Destroyer. I had so much fun. I really enjoyed the characters, especially the Tigress, just getting to know them and their distinct way of viewing life and interacting with humans and other Tigress uh, so cool. So check out Destroyer by Chris Fox. And before I let you go, I have a really exciting announcement. So I've published, I think, about 14 short stories online. Most of them are all over the place. Uh, any ebook retailer you can find. I try and just put the very best ones on Amazon because it's really hard to make them free, but they're free everywhere else. And then I have one novelette. It's about 11,000 words, and that is out for free as an ebook, even on Amazon. But now I am coming out with a novella. It's a 30,000 word book. Think of the length of like The Old Man and the Sea. It's called Sword and Urn, and I'm really excited about publishing it because while it's not a full-length novel, it's much longer than a short story. So it's kind of the first book that I'm putting out that's not a short story. And that's just really exciting to me. And in my humble opinion, the paperback looks awesome. I put a sword under the chapter heading inside and um, I think the cover looks great printed out. And uh, if you've ever played Zelda 2, my cover kind of looks like that with a sword in a stone and then there's an urn next to it and then there's a river behind that. You can go right now to Amazon and just search for Sword and Urn, and you'll find it for sale. It's 99 cents as an ebook, and I believe the paperback's gonna be $5.99. It's probably going to be available by the time you listen to this. I'm really excited about that. And so let me just read you the description real quick, and then I'll let you go. Drade is a villager manning a merchant table with his father Aaron, until two mysterious swordsmen come to town. They claim they are there to take him and other young men with them in their caged wagon. After a brutal sword fight helped with a magic potion, Drade must fulfill a promise to his father and journey north to the farm of his grandparents. Along the way, he meets many colorful characters. Some he helps and others help him on his quest to reach his grandparents' farm before the villains he fought get there first. There is no way he'll be able to take them on again without a lot of help. So yeah, it's a young adult fantasy adventure novella. <laughs> that sounded like a Starbucks order. It's a short novel, a fantasy novel, where there is adventure, the main character is kind of coming of age, so it's like a young adult novel. But it's good for all ages. All right, I have been jawing on for way too long. You guys have lots of other awesome audiobooks to listen to, podcasts, paperbacks, and ebooks to read. So that's all for this week. I hope you guys have a great week of reading, and I'll see you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at Incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.